my god, what a sweaty mess. <laughs> Hi. Just finished a home workout. Yeah, a little sweaty. <laughs> For some reason, at the moment, I can't get up in the morning at my usual time, which is 5 a.m. <laughs> and I think it's because every morning I'm like, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to the gym. And because, I don't know, I don't know if it's like hidden anxiety because I don't really feel my anxiety that much anymore. I feel that it's there, but I feel like it's contained in a, in a weird bubble. So it's kind of a weird effect uh, that happens when you take like anti-anxiety medication. You, you know that it's there, but it's like, I don't know, contained. It's like behind a wall. You can feel it like knocking on the door but they aren't actually coming in, but they're definitely there. So I don't know if it's because, I don't know, because like, I can feel the anxiety and because of that I'm procrastinating so I'm not getting up in the morning because I don't want to go to the gym for some reason because I love the gym. But at the moment, I don't know, my body or my brain is being weird and I can't get up in the morning and I think it's because of that because I'm going to bed quite early and I am getting decent sleep but for some reason I can't get up. So in the meantime, I'm doing my usual home workout that I literally just finished which is why I'm out of breath because the last exercise I did was a, a HIIT workout which is as you know high intensity something high intensity intermittent time oh my god <laughs> I don't know um, but yeah I used to uh, try and film myself when I was working out from home especially during the confinement where it was like only home workouts but then I saw myself during editing and I was like, I just look ridiculous. I'm this tall, kind of lanky, I've got like really long lanky limbs and I feel like it makes me look so uncoordinated that I just, I don't want to <laughs> put that on the internet so I haven't been filming my workouts anymore. But if you're interested, I mean a lot of people at the moment are really into Chloe Ting on YouTube and I do like her but at the moment I much prefer Pamela Reif, like R-E-I-F uh, and she does like really good programs. I just did her uh, 45 minute program and it really kills and I really like them. So it's a little late. I'm gonna go hit the shower and start the day. It's really frustrating to get up late because then I feel like I'm just running uh, to catch up for lost time. But yeah, I need to learn that time is just a concept. <laughs> some days I'm fine with time like you know one thing at a time I'll get there eventually and some other days I'm just like time is running out you gotta get things done go 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 and I feel like these two days has been have been like those days where I just feel like I'm wasting my time my precious lifespan does anyone else get that <laughs> anyway like as you can see I'm a sweaty mess Oof. that damn pimple yo and I got one on my forehead and I got a bunch on my chin. Pizza. <laughs> oh wait, I can't even have cheese. With vegan cheese melted on top. Oh, so sunshine is so good. Mm. It's like the best thing. It'll be gone in a few minutes behind all the city buildings, so definitely making the most out of it. Studying some Japanese. I did put some sun. Booped. I did put some sunscreen on. I just have to be careful because, I mean, my area is kind of recognizable, so reflections and yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit paranoid. I love this area of Brussels, even if my apartment is kind of like, eh. I mean, I love my apartment, but it, let's face it, it is a little meh. <laughs> but I love this part of Brussels. The only thing is that there are so many pubs and restaurants and cafes nearby, and it's like 11-ish, yeah, like four minutes to 11 a.m. So like lunch is getting ready and it smells so good right now i think someone has got to be making pizza or like crust or it just it just smells so good so now obviously i'm craving pizza 
but I'm really being careful. I mean, I could just go buy a like frozen pizza, but no gluten, no cheese. I am staying away from tomato sauce, unfortunately, because I have acidity with all the new meds. So, the pizza right away. Oh, but it smells so nice. Or maybe it's just like Italian herbs, that's why I'm thinking of pizza. What is going on? I mean, it's, it's the city. I'm gonna go get some vocab, study a little more in the sun while it's out, and then I'll go make myself some lunch too, because these smells are like... so good. A lot of wasps around here. <laughs> Every time I see one, I have to run inside and close the door, because they are persistent little biatches. myself another juice. Sue me. <laughs> mm. I mean, I know it's plastic. Ooh, camera battery. That way I don't ramble on too, too much. I know it's plastic consumption, but I'm craving like sweet stuff and gluten and all the things I'm not really supposed to eat. So this is my consolation. And it says it helps reduce fatigue and it's got some ginseng, ginseng in it which is one of the things I have to eat as a supplement like ginger, ginseng and kurkuma I don't remember the name, English name for that but it's Thursday, I wasn't gonna vlog anything today because I'm working on some commissions but I went on a walk because it's a gorgeous hot day outside and I'm stuck at my desk so I thought you know I'm gonna go take a, a 30 minute walk that way my Fitbit isn't like get moving get moving every hour <laughs> so did a walk and uh, since yesterday we have some new COVID restrictions because the numbers have been rising and with the summer there are too many parties so they really they put back some restrictions and uh, you have to wear a mask everywhere outside now even if you're just walking which is not great because it's really hot so I was working for walking for 30 minutes and like five minutes from me getting home I removed my mask because I was dying and I was holding it in my hand and of course that's when I walked across like I was crossing the street and just when I was crossing the streets like two police officers was crossing were crossing also and they were like you gotta wear your mask and they weren't mean about it or anything they were like hey uh, you have to wear that because I was holding it like around my wrist or whatever so <laughs> really funny at least they weren't mean and they weren't like finding me because obviously i had my mask with me but i guess like just when i took it off it was like gotta wear your mask anyway i'm home now i'm gonna enjoy my juice cool down a little bit and then get back to work um tomorrow it's supposed to be even harder like 36 degrees so that's gonna be fun mm. i'm going to the gym i'm going to the gym yes i am Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. I'm going. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to the gym. Yes, I am. Me laver les mains. Oui, va me laver les mains. Oui, oui. I'm home. Tadaima. Je vais me laver les mains et puis je te fais un câlin après, ok? Oui. Ouais. 
want to show you a few things that I bought because why not? Maybe you guys are interested. Uh, so the health, I went to two stores. Oh, I can try this too. <laughs> oh, it looks a little like I've been um, shaking it. But um, I bought some kombucha glass this time, not plastic. Good. This is botanical sparkling tea, yugen, yugen kombucha. And they had a lot of interesting flavors. Obviously, they had ginger and everything, but I'm used to having the ginger kombucha. So this time, I'm trying apple and mint. So organic, vegan, light cultures. I hope this might explode in my face. So. Whoop, whoop. They really want to come out. Oh, now it's wet, obviously. It smells minty. I'm really thirsty from my walk. Mm. Tastes like mint tea that you forgot. So cold mint tea. But sparkling. There's nothing I can compare it to, but it does taste like mint tea, but sparkling and cold. So I bought some flour. Gluten free flour. I bought it, uh, I bought the like baking mix because that's basically what I'll be using it for. And it says it's uh, rice flour. Sorry. And then some other shit that I can't translate right now. Like it says like fecule, but I don't remember what, I don't remember what fecule is. Starch? Like tapioca starch? No, it's not starch, because starch is amidon. So I don't know what fecule is. But yeah, I've been craving um, crepes or pancakes or whatever. So I'm going to try this. I just need to figure out what to replace the egg with but can you just put like banana and flour and maybe oats? I have to look it up. I don't know why I bought this. I was just like so many different flowers. I want to try one and this one is the one I tried. I bought, sorry. <laughs> this is something I've been craving for so long and it's the um, yeast flakes. Um, I've been craving it. Is it open? No. Good. <laughs> I've been craving it so much and since I can't have any cheese in my pasta, pasta, um, in my quinoa rather because I'm not eating pasta um, I found some and I think this is the one I had before, like the very first time I think It was also the cheapest one but it's also got some B vitamins which I need in my diet and from what I remember they taste really really good so um, noodles. I've been trying out some uh, different gluten-free pasta noodles. I think the last time I had rice noodles and they were really good. This time I'm trying, um, I was like wheat, no, uh, brown rice, pumpkin and ginger noodles, which sounds really interesting. Uh, it says King Soba Noodle Culture. It looked, it seemed interesting and I'm open to, to uh, trying new things. I mean, if I have to go vegan gluten free, I mean, might as well have fun with it. So I'll be trying that one out. Then I went to the supermarket because I really, really wanted ice cream. I know I have to lay low on sugar, uh, but I was like, you know what cheers people up? Ice cream, let's look for vegan ice cream. I looked in the health store, they only had vanilla. And I mean, nothing against vanilla, but it's vanilla. <laughs> so I went to one supermarket and they had vanilla and salted butter, uh, salted caramel, salted butter caramel, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't mind it, but again, it's like vanilla and the caramel. So, mm. uh, and also I had to walk a little bit, so I was afraid it was going to melt and I have a supermarket not that far from me. So I was going to check that one before making up my mind whether I was going to have ice cream or not but before that at the supermarket I found this vegan spread it's like vegan tzatziki which I I like tzatziki uh, it's made with coconut oil though so I'm a little bit but it's 
dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free, lactose-free, nut-free, and preservative-free. Preservative this is pricey as f so I'm hoping it's good. I'll probably finish it even if I don't like it because of how pricey this is. So um, I'm trying all the vegan things out, but uh, it's gonna kill my wallet, so I'm gonna try this out once. <laughs> and then I'll just figure out how to make my own cheese maybe buying a bunch of cashews will be cheaper in the end i don't know but yeah bought some f canned fish with oil but she's gonna be happy i'm getting used to it and it's good for me and then finally dun -dun -dun -dun. The, i think this one was like this was the most expensive thing that one is the the purchase i feel it's starting to yeah i'm gonna be able to eat that because it's nice and soft now um, I feel a little guilty because this is definitely not not something I should be eating because it's very sweet but it's Friday and I need a treat and this is chocolate fudge brownie non-dairy ice cream it's made with almonds and I want it I want it so bad it's not vanilla it's actually like a real treat and it's vegan so I'm gonna have this and drink my mint thing and then yeah that was a lot of money spent but you only live once <laughs> I can't believe I just YOLO'd myself but yeah anyway um this might be it uh, for the vlog. I feel like it might be very long because I did speak a lot on this segment and on some other segments. So uh, I think I'm going to end it here. I hope I can shake off this mood. I hope I get an answer for Japan soon because if it's cancelled again, I need to call my landlord and he'll be so mad that for the third time I'll be like hey can I stay longer he might say no and if that happens I don't know what I'm gonna do anyway guys uh, if you made it this far thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to check out the links below for my shop thank you all for watching I'll see you next time how are you all I hope you are well bye